Hello everyone, I, I don't know if it's pure coincidence but uh, Jimmy was like telling me do you want to talk about this Tomo thing? So, so I didn't design this thing, I kept to do a group buy and it's really another USB thing like a stick that uh, Ambros just presented. So uh, let me just share about what this thing is about and maybe give an example. So, so the device is called... Yeah, so it's really small, I think smaller than uh, the first presenter's one. And it has uh, two LEDs, I think it has a red LED, a green and two capacitive buttons. So it's like uh, they squeeze a 32-bit microcontroller into a very small circuit board. They can just plug it to the side of your laptop and don't have to worry about losing it and if it's free. Well. So, so we have one running here. So that's running like a blinking sequence right now. And I think the really cool thing is that uh, the guy designed trying to make it like a hardware security key. So you can load uh, a program that they have wrote called U2F and you can use it to do things like authentication to GitHub for example. So all you have to do is, let's say you go to a new computer, you want to log in, you just plug in your key and just like tap on the button and you are all good. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the guy who worked on this one is called uh, Tim Ansel. And then a guy came in, uh, Socks came in to help him with the firmware. And what, what he did was that he introduced uh, like a firmware called DFU, not sure if you guys are familiar with DFU, so to make it very easy for you to load in new programs. So you can basically program new stuff on this small little thing, like change the light sequence, if you tap the button, maybe like shut down your computer or something here. So you can pretty much do a lot of stuff. So maybe let's try to load the programming. Oh, and I think it's, it was sold for 15 US for one. So, slightly more pricey if you make your own, but it has more features. What processor does it use? I think it's uh, like a Gecko, like a 30, EF or something, 32B. Cortex M0. Yeah, Cortex M0. Gecko is out. Yeah, uh, Cortex M0. Yeah, it's an EFM32. Yeah, so so they have some examples that they already uh, pre uh for the port. So you have to set up your compiler and everything. You can download the binary file and try out some examples. So they have like USB stuff, like MIDI, HID. So maybe you can program it to shut down your friend's laptop if you plug it in or something. So maybe let's try this. I actually never tried the example except for the YouTube app. Let's try me. Oh, I think it's, it's really pre there's a pre-built folder on one, one, one level up. Pre-built. Yeah. On the dot DFE file. It's really running on
So they have this uh, web-based uh, program uploader. So you don't have to install any drivers on your laptop. I think you just need to run Google Chrome. And you can already load the program into the Tomo itself. So maybe let's try. So you actually detects it as a thing like a detects it as a EFU bootloader device. It's the third one you have to test. Uh, yeah, I have been playing with stuff. Yeah, sure. Is web USB standard with Chrome or is it a yes. is it plugin should I get? Sorry? Is web USB Web DFU. No no the USB interface you're using. Oh. Is built into Chrome or it's still a plugin? I think it's built into Chrome. Experimental I believe. It is experimental. Maybe it's one of So you'll prompt you whether they can take over the device and connect. So we just don't see if connect. That's it. This was this was the day one of of, of uh, Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> the browser take over your USB, then after that. Yeah, so over here there's a firmware download. You can just download it. That allows you to read any USB device. Exactly. And I and I remember it, the Firefox implementation. Was it Firefox or the Chrome implementation? It butchered a lot of these keys. So it's it's pretty fast. You already did the downloading while you guys were having a chat, and I think it changed the sequence to a fast blinking now. Yeah. So I, I think that's a really cool small little device. I think they spent a lot of time thinking about how the thickness of the board should be, how wide it should be, and they even made a custom small little casing just to make sure it sits well in your USB port. Yeah, so if you are interested, you can go and check out uh, tomu.in. Yeah. So I guess that's all for Yeah, so that's one last thing I think we're talking about a U2F uh, firmware. Yeah, so they already did the port for you and all you have to do is just download that binary, just load it into the Tomo, and you can actually use it as like a hardware security key. So you can authenticate to some of the websites that support. So if you're familiar with YubiKey, this is probably something interesting. It's like your own version. And I think the key never leaves the device because it puts up and makes its own key and good to go. Yeah, so check out this website. Okay, that's all.